Hi. Hi. Just going to have a bit of a yarn with you fellas and fellasses. This one's about mental health. Now, my regular viewers will know that I'm mental as. Yes, mental as. And my patrons will know that I sometimes get a bit down in the dumps. Not all the time. But occasionally I'll have down days and I get a bit dissatisfied and unhappy. Now, I'm just going to share what works for me. I am by no means a trained psychologist. This is just what works for me. And if anyone else out there is watching this and has 10 cents worth of what works for them, please comment below. And if you feel you want to reach out to me, just please reach out to me. I am here for you. I may not be here for a long time, or always, but I'll answer your messages and I'll reply and I'll maybe be able to help you. So, what works for me? Exercise. Getting out there and getting exercise. Eating well. Eating on a regular basis and eating well and not eating crap. Trying to keep that sugar low so I don't have sugar crashes. Exercise is probably the most important thing. Get off the couch. You don't have to run or go to the gym. Just go for a walk. 20 minutes of walking a day. Now, work on creating some good habits. Not only good physical habits, but good mental habits as well. The way you think about things, the way you react to things, takes three weeks to create a new habit and three months to cement that habit into place. Now, it may seem like a long time, four months, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that long at all. You can't break old habits. You can just create new habits that override those old habits. So get cracking, folks. Get cracking. Now, another thing that really works for me is being appreciative of what I've got. Now, I'm pretty successful. I'm not filthy rich, but I'm enjoying life. I have a beautiful family. A great house that the bloody bank owns. I'll pay it off one day. And I've got a pretty nice quarter acre section, but there's a nice greener paddock just over that fence. I could have a bigger house, I could have a bigger yard, a bigger shed. What I'm trying to say is no matter how successful you are, there's always going to be a greener paddock just across that fence with plenty of green grass in it. So try to appreciate what you've got. Try to enjoy life in the pursuit of happiness. Don't get too hung up on material possessions. Remember, you can always go back to zero and start from scratch. And if you're in a situation, a job, a relationship, whatever situation it might be that you are unhappy with, get out of it. You don't have to get out of it straight away, but start making plans to sort that out. Sort it out. Life's too short to be miserable, isn't it? Yes, I agree. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, there's so much more. There is so much more. Uh, did I say appreciate what you've got? Yes, I did. Morning and night. Think of a few things that you really enjoy. And remember, your shit day might be a pretty good day for someone else. Now, one other thing I'm going to touch base on is writing a recipe for your life. I like to use baking as a good analogy. You may have all the ingredients to bake a cake or a loaf of bread, but if you don't have a recipe and you don't know what you're doing and you've never done it before, it's not going to turn out very good. It may be edible, maybe you can live on that shit, but it's not going to be a delicious chocolate cake or a nice, moist soft loaf of bread is it if you don't have a good recipe and instructions so write your life recipe out write down where you want to be what you want to be doing how you want to be feeling who you want to be with write that shit down give yourself a goal break that goal down into little steps there might be a whole bunch of different steps you can take to achieve that goal write them all down give yourself time frames and start smashing that goal out and be patient remember guys patience I am so impatient. I tell you what, I've put my foot in my mouth so many times. <laughs> it's not funny. I hope I'm not putting my foot in my mouth now. No, surely I'm not. <laughs> Patience. Just give it time. Time heals all wounds. Forgive. You can't forget, but you can forgive. Water under the bridge. Let it be. Anyway, that's my 10 cents worth on mental health today. I'm going to do a few more of these posts. Now, no one's paying me to do this. <laughs> I'm not being sponsored by the government to share my knowledge or lack of knowledge on mental health. I'm just reaching out because a few people have been reaching out to me lately. So I'm reaching out to you guys. And if anyone wants to drop me a message and have a yarn, please do. All right. Have a cracker day. Enjoy the rest of it. Appreciate life. Tally ho.